Thousands of Brits are still stuck at Dubai's international airports after record, rail, uh, uh, record rainfall and floods caused chaos across the city as the authorities warn that recovery could take some time. Well, two of those caught up in it all are Tawi stars James Arjun and Joey Essex. And I'm pleased to say that Joey and Arj uh, join us now from Dubai because they're stuck there. You're looking drier, which is good. We'll hear about your, how you can get back in a moment. But first of all, tell us how it all happened for you, because it was really dramatic, wasn't it? Well, yeah, there was like there was rain throughout the night, or like a storm. And then um, obviously, you know, we went to sleep. We woke, and then I got rudely awakened by uh, by Tom Pierce, who we're sharing our apartment with. And there was literally the whole apartment was completely flooded. Wow! Completely. That must have been quite frightening yeah. at the time. Well, it was actually it was actually my room. That flooded, so Tom Pierce actually barged in my room with someone else, and everyone was on the floor falling over. And uh, yeah, the whole the whole apartment flooded downstairs, upstairs, everything. But it was quite bad. Oh yeah. my goodness! Joey We're just looking content. at images of it now, <laughs> by the way, guys. Joey, Joey was shooting content while I was on my hands and knees trying to save the apartment and the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that's the, that's the way work is divided up between two, you two. I can tell. But also there was another point, wasn't there, where you you were stranded outside um, and you had to wade through the water, you couldn't get a cab. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, we, we managed to, ju to just about get to the local uh, shopping mall in Dubai Hills and we was actually stuck inside the mall for over 10 hours. And then, you know, when the storm had kind of stopped, we attempted to kind of leave because obviously, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to get home mm -hmm. and... Um, there was just, there was obviously, there was absolutely no way of getting, getting a taxi. Mm -hmm. And literally, we were trying to walk through the, the streets, but there was like water pretty much coming up to our knees. And there was like flooring was being like, was caving in. And it was, it was quite, it was quite scary to be honest. We were trying to hitchhike if there was any like big, you know, like the four by fours or the, the XL type of cars. But um, yeah, it I was. I mean, to be honest, the easiest way to do it would have been to start swimming. <laughs> but we, we, we near enough literally had to nearly take that take that chance. But um, we just took our shoes off and we sort of, yeah, it was up to about our knees at one point and we, we finally got home. But, um, yeah, it was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a disaster, really, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because, you, obviously, you know, your travel agent says it's the best place to come in the world this type of year. It costs a few quid and you don't expect these sort of things to happen no, on your holiday. You don't. Don't. The one thing you don't expect in Dubai is rain, and you don't expect it on this scale. And, in fact, no-one did, did they? Because this is a historic event. I mean, it hasn't, there was a year's rainfall in one day. Were you given any kind of warnings? Were you aware of it? Apparently, there was warnings, but, I mean, I, I weren't warned when I was woke up by Tom Pierce on his hands and knees uh, <laughs> at 8 a.m., so that's the only warning I got. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had warnings that it might be bad weather, but not that it'd be the worst in 75 years and, and, <laughs> and, it'd, be, it'd, quite, and it'd be quite as dramatic as what it was, do you know what I mean? It feels like um, after the fact, after the panic, after the fear, it feels like you're now having quite a good time. Well, well yeah. Got, the thing is, you've got to look at the positive side of it, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, me and I are just still alive, we're still here. Um, I just hope that everyone, obviously, I think a few people were injured and people was unsafe, so I hope everyone's OK and, uh, mm. you know, we're OK. We're just trying to, you know, live, live the rest of, of the, uh, the day, probably. Yeah, we, we've know. booked up. We've, we've still got our flight home on Saturday and uh, I can't wait to get on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm a celebrity getting out of here. <laughs> well, I hope you get the chance to enjoy it. And as you say, you know, uh, there are other people, I'm sure, that, that are suffering there as well, so we're thinking of them as you are. Uh, so you you were able to come back OK, you think? We well, hope so. Hope so, yeah. yeah. That's the plan. And are you coming back by plane or might it be by canoe? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not really sure yet. I mean, we, 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 hope, we, hope, we hope plane, but, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll soon see. <laughs> Well, good to talk to you this morning. Looks like the sun tans are coming on and the sky's blue again. So hopefully you can enjoy the last few days of your break there. Absolutely, absolutely. We will, we will for sure. Good stuff. Thanks very much Thanks indeed. Thanks ever so much. Always good to chat to them. Well, Always smiling, whatever Always the circumstances. Smiling, but I think they had quite a scary time. Oh, yeah, you know really I mean? scary. And I think it'd be scary for a lot of people as well. Yeah.